Let's see as we come over here. Welcome back, folks. Again, so this is just, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. And I'm giving you when you'll get an email from the list of predictor every day um, or reevaluate, same thing. You'll get the an email from them saying, hey, this is within the platform, you'll get it. But also an email saying this person is a potential hot prospect. Their score is like 95 or 94, or maybe they just hit 80. Uh, I know agents that, hold on, let me move this it's in, your, in your way. Uh, agents that we're working with that have found when they reach 80, sometimes they've already listed because, you know, again, this is searching all of their things every day, meaning, it doesn't sound good, but like their search habits, their spending habits, all that, it's evaluated every single day. So this can change on a daily basis. Um, if they go, they're all the way at 94, 95, they've been doing a lot of searching. So you might create triggers. And, and again, it uh, doesn't matter to me what CRM you use as long as you're using one, but you can create a trigger that says when they reach a certain um, criteria, like 60, let's add them to a drip campaign for potential sellers. Okay. Uh, we get into that in our uh, Rediverse training that's coming up. So with this one, here's an example, right? Wendy, Wendy said, uh, Wendy reached a 95. I then shot Wendy a text that said, good morning, Wendy. Hope all is well. My crystal ball tells me that you might need a real estate superhero. Is that right? Not yet. Casey and Chris will be staying in a campground. So that's her daughter and her son-in-law. And then I followed up. And then it turns out her son is also looking to buy. So this wasn't two sellers. It was two buyers, but it was a, a millennial mother or a mother of millennials, right? A mother of millennials who is doing a lot of searching on behalf of her children. That's what caused the prospect to go up. Okay. And then you also get a text every day of the people's um, whose score have changed. If you if you opt in for that. I wanted to be notified, I don't wanna miss a thing. So I have it, all of the things uh, reminding me. Okay, uh, independent third party validated the accuracy, meaning of those that were in the 80 to 100 range, one out of five, 19.5% listed in the MLS within six months. Greater than that could have sold because maybe they sold off market or didn't list in the MLS or whatever. Okay, so one out of five. One out of five people that reach that 80 to 100 threshold will transact. So that means don't let them sit there. Too often with leads, too often with, uh, with something like this, you're going to go, oh, I, I called them. I called them one time or I sent them a text. That's bogus. It doesn't work. It takes multiple touches. Okay, multiple touches. Um, any database, 6% of any database uh, in one year, that's your target expectations. Now, Smart Zip. This is one you may not be familiar with. Smart Zip's been around for a while. They're an NAR affiliate. What they're good at, uh, they use is very similar predictive analytics, but their specialty is uh, direct mail. Okay, so. You could look at an MSA, a market service area, but let's just call it a farm. You could say, okay, I, within this zip code, I'm going to use 14612, I only want to target waterfront properties. And you could do that. Maybe you have a special um, piece that you've created for waterfront. You want to specialize in waterfront. Uh, you can have them do that, but have them send it to only the people that are likely to sell. My phone. Oh, somebody's calling. Sorry. I have a seller calling uh, right now because I'm sure there's an issue with a final walkthrough. Um, one second. I'm going to come back over here. There we go. All right. So smart tip. Again, what's next? Your strategy, right? By land, by air, by sea. You have to be able to put all of these things together. If you're not going to prospect, you have to at least the softest you know, uh, way to do that is to add them to a campaign. So if you have people that are likely to sell, you add them uh, to an email campaign. You add them to a direct mail campaign. You add them to a social media advertising campaign. Any way that you can so that they see you everywhere because they're thinking about selling. So if you're not top of mind and quite literally have them surrounded, right? And we started off this live stream, well, the previous live stream uh, that went down. This is still going. Yeah, still going. Um, the previous live stream went down. What we talked about 
identifying an area and the businesses, like all of that is also staying top of mind because the more people engage with your content, the more they like, the more they comment, the more they share. Then when you do something like a home sellers workshop, which we talked about two weeks ago, uh, then that's going to come up in their feed. Okay. Um, social media, you create advertising campaigns. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you're not confident doing that, then uh, Wise Agent has it built right in. Wise Agent is one of the CRMs that we recommend, but a lot of the CRMs uh, have that right now as well. So creating a campaign, you, you create a trigger so that when somebody is likely to sell, it then adds them to a customized audience that you've created um, in your Facebook ad space, and then that campaign is constantly running. Just like we used to put ads in the newspaper every month, you should be advertising on social media every month. That should be part of your budget. That should be part of what you're doing to stay top of mind. You can't hear me?